Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have gone through some of the important repository interfaces, its relationships and its implementation classes at a high level. In this lecture, we'll deep dive into Spring Data JP library and we'll understand more about these repository interfaces and its implementation classes. All right, let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let's deep dive into Spring Data JP library. Well, basically we are going to decompile Spring Data JPA uh, library that is a jar file and we will see its interfaces and implementation classes well in order to see the spring data jpa jar file and its dot class files what we can do is we can go to the external library section over here just expand it and go ahead and just search for spring data jpa library for instance you can see here yeah spring data jpa library so go ahead and just expand it and then you can able to see spring data jpa jar file right and just go ahead and dive into this package and just go ahead and click on a repository package over here and here you can able to see jpa repository interface all right so this is basically interface just go ahead and double click on it and you can able to see jpa repository interface and it's all methods all right so basically this is a dot class file all right so we have deep dive into jar file and we are looking into its interfaces and classes so you can see jpa repository is the interface and it internally extends paging and sorting repository interface so just you know press control line click on this and you can able to deep dive into paging and sorting repository interface and paging and sorting repository interface exposes these two methods to support sorting and pagination and paging and sorting repository interface it internally again extends crude repository interface and just press control and click on this crude repository interface you can able to you know go into this crude repository interface and you can able to see crude repository interface exposes all these methods okay so mainly we will use save save all find by d okay and delete by id delete delete all so these are the very important crude methods that crude repository interface exposes and you can able to see crude repository interface in turn extends a repository interface just press ctrl and click on this repository interface and you can able to see repository interface it does not contain any methods it means that repository interface is basically a marker interface okay and in a repository interfaces hierarchy repository interface is basically a root interface all right so let's recap the repository interfaces hierarchy again so we have a jp repository interface it in turn extends paging and sorting repository interface it in turn extends code repository interface it in turn extends repository interface so this is how the repository interfaces hierarchy looks like all right now let's go and let's see the implementation class of jpa repository interface well just go ahead and expand this support package and just scroll down a little bit and you can able to see here simple jpa repository class so just go ahead and double click on it and you can able to see simple jpa repository is the class it internally implements jpa repository interface and its methods okay so simple jpa repository is the default implementation class which provides implementation for all the jpa repository interface methods okay simple jpa repository class implements jpa repository implementation interface and jpa repository implementation interface internally extends jpa repository interface it means that simple jpa repository class it indirectly implements all the methods of jp repository interface for example jp repository interface has all these methods for instance find all find all by id save all flush save and flush save all and flush delete in batch delete all in batch okay and find all so all these methods basically you know simple jp repository class implements for, for example if you can just scroll down and you can able to see delete by id method implementation and delete method implementation okay delete all by d 
delete all by id in batch delete all okay delete all in batch all right so basically simple jpay repository class it implements all the methods of jpay repository interface well if we can closely observe this implementation class this class is annotated with add transactional annotation it means that simple jpay repository class it already provide a transaction support for all its methods so we don't have to again provide a transaction support for these methods for example a delete by id method so this method is annotated with add transactional annotation it means that this method provides support for transaction management and similarly delete a method delete all by id method okay so all these public methods are by default transactional we don't have to again provide add transactional annotation to make these methods transactional okay so this is a very important just remember simple jpa repository is the default implementation class which provides implementation of all jpa repository interface methods okay and second important point is simple jpa repository class it by default provides a transaction support for all its methods okay and we don't have to again make its methods transactional all right so these are the few points you have to keep in mind whenever you use jpa repository interface in your you know project all right i hope you pretty much understood the repository interfaces and its implementation in a spring data jpa module well let me recap what we have done in this lecture we have basically decompiled spring data jpa jar file and we understood the important interfaces like jpa repository interface and its methods jpa repository interface internal extends paging and sorting interface paging and sorting repository interface it internal extends core repository interface core repository interface it internal extends repository interface all right we have seen all this hierarchy and we have also gone through its implementation class that is simple jpa repository class all right and by default all the methods in a simple jpa repository class are by default transactional all right great i will see you in next lecture